Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something shook. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more, started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more um, awake. Yeah, I did listen to the recording a couple of times. Me too. Well, I listened once. Yeah. What did you think? If any, any thoughts, feelings? Yeah, it got, I mean, it definitely got a little confusing. Um, and I, I see that there was a manager part there that um, mm-hmm. was really wanting uh, a certain vision of the system. Yes. Um, and that makes a lot of sense to me just because, like, I was managed a lot. Mm-hmm. And it makes sense that, like, I would be very managing. And um, I know I, yeah. You are being very managed still. Yes. (laughs) I'm being very managed still. I do think, yeah. I mean, I also have firefighter parts that just blow up really fast. Um, Mm Mm-hmm. And it makes complete sense that the cool manager would be the preferred state to the yeah. blown up firefighter. Yeah. 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 And in the past, I've actually met this like 12 year old who like has her back towards her younger self and is just like, I'm not like you anymore. I don't throw tantrums. I, you know. Um, and I, I, it, that's like the, the sort of suppressive, like distancing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the pain though, like associated with. You know, the the pain associated with the, did I lose you? All right. So where would you like to start? Um, do you want to keep talking about what you're noticing about the 12-year-old with her back to the younger self or the 
pain that was associated with that? Or do you have any other parts you'd like to get to know better or change your relationship with? Um, well, I, I'd like to explore the, the kind of manager, um, I, I've had issues with like people feeling like I'm trying to fix them Mm -hmm. and I have explored that, um, in that I've realized that like, that was kind of how love was shown to me. Like Mm -hmm. when I was in my family of origin where like fixing me was sort of the only attention I got. And so I kind of had thought that that was like showing love to other people was fixing Mm -hmm. them. Yeah. But I don't think that I've really um, kind of explored how I do that to myself and how that might be disguised as self. Okay. Okay. Do you suspect that it is the same part that works with others that's also might be working within you? It could be the, um, the one that wanted to fix others is somehow linked with like a way of avoiding my own discomfort. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so when we we were talking about that there was some pain associated with like, you know, me making noise and nobody coming to help. Um, mm-hmm. And this this self like manager was around and was trying to sort of, fix the problem of making noise. (laughs) Yeah. And somehow that might have been like to avoid what actually the pain was behind the making noise, I think is Mm -hmm. where we left it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you'd like to get in touch with that manager? Yeah. Okay. Well, how do you notice it in your body when it shows up? Uh, I'm feeling it in my jaw Mm -hmm. and temple. Okay. Anything else you're noticing about it? Any message that it's sending? Or anything at all? I don't know if I have a good like handle on the trailhead to reach it. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Because and, it's a little, yeah. Yeah. Well, you did have your guess, or I'm sure it's more than a guess, about um, you know when there is that pain associated with making noise and nobody coming to help. That could be a trailhead. Or Mm -hmm. you could think about, you know, those times when you feel like you're trying to fix others. Mm -hmm. 
Or you could say more about the sensations in your jaw and temple. So the the situation of like a lot of screaming, not a lot of air or assistance or teaching or learning or changing. Uh, it was very static. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Hmm. Yeah, it kind of led to this sort of fantasy that I could make things change by performing in some way by Yeah. Okay. Uh, by achieving some sort of stature of like power or fame or mm -hmm. okay and as you're noticing that, how do you feel towards it? Towards the the one who wants to make it change by performing and achieving. Yeah. I I feel that it's uh, it's lonely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And how do you feel towards it, seeing it yeah. as lonely? You still with me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, that's fine. You've noticed the parts feeling lonely. What's coming up for you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the part sort of in this fantasy of not being lonely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. 
protection. Yeah. How do you feel towards the one who wants to make things change by performing? So this is like, I think that this, this manager is like somewhere in between my relationship with these feelings. Okay. The feelings of The which feelings uh, the manager is between or among? The manager is like uh, like cognitive and Trying to like explain the feelings. Yes. Yes. But it's it makes not makes sense and can yeah. be very useful. But it's not allowing me to connect mm -hmm. with the feelings of this part. Okay. Yeah. And those are feelings of another part, right? Well, the part I'm trying, I'm like with mm -hmm. to an extent is the part that has like lived in this sort of fantasy of like connection and appreciation and great yeah okay and you asked in my last call with you and in this one you're asking me how do I feel towards this part mm -hmm. and I'm just not like it's there, but my sort of feelings of like compassion for it, I'm not able to like, I don't know. I, like, it, I mean. It's fine. It's fine to not have feelings of compassion for it right now. Right. I'm feeling that. It's the way I feel towards it is that there is some that it's still like in its own fantasy world, and I'm not really meeting it. Okay. Do you feel curious about it? Oh. Did you answer no to that? No, I just uh, okay. I didn't answer no. I said, huh, because okay, 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 okay. I feel like the manager thinks it knows everything about it. And it might know a lot. It might know a lot about it. Yeah. So the one with the fantasy of connection and appreciation feels like a different part from the manager to you, right? Yeah, I feel like the manager's handling that. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. 
And when you check to see how you feel towards the manager. Okay. I feel that the manager is like working really, really, really hard. Yeah. Really tightly balled up. Mm -hmm. And I feel I mean, I can just feel that. You can feel that intensity? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I feel like I can, yeah, I can, I can sort of in an unblended way, like feel it's, wow, well, what it, it's sort of exhaustion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can let it know that, that you can feel it's exhaustion. And as you're noticing how exhausted it is, how do you feel towards it? I feel like I want to help it relax. Okay. But that, Does that feel like it's coming from a place of compassion? Or is that just the manager saying, hey, I'm tired, yeah. I want to relax? <laughs> that seems like some sort of managing it still. Well, depends. You know, you can look at it compassionately and see that it's in a tough spot and want to learn more about it and help it in any way you can. Or you could, you know, perhaps if the manager is blended with you and it's saying, I'm really, I'm really working hard and I want to relax. So that's what I'm looking out for. Would that manager like to just speak with me about its role? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So I'd like to welcome that manager. I'd like to understand about how it is, how it's doing, and about how it's working really hard. So will the part that's working really hard tell me anything it wants me to know about that, what it's like?
does it have concerns about telling me that? Uh, no. I think it's just really young and doesn't know how to say much. That's okay. I want to welcome all parts. I love manager parts. I love young parts. And nobody has to do anything. Nobody has to perform for me. But I am curious. Anytime a part's working really hard, I like to understand why. Or just understand how, understand how it is for them. And if they'd rather not speak with me, that's fine. We can shift to other parts or do whatever we, do whatever we want. The part is showing me like a headache. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like A little dizzy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does it want to tell you anything about that headache? How it got it? what it's like. It's showing me like it's trying to run away and it keeps getting its leg pulled back. It keeps getting its legs pulled back? Yeah. Um, that sounds pretty awful. Yeah, it was like, I've seen this before. It's like where play was very violent. And this, um, so it doesn't know what, Yeah, trying to find a place. Okay. Yeah. She could let it know that we want to help it with that. We want to help it find its place to feel safe. Mm-hmm. 
Does it know how long it's been doing that or trying to run? It just keeps doing it over and over again, like. Yeah. It's been doing that for a long time, or is that just feel like it's trying to run away from this conversation? No, it's just kind of stuck in this um, age. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Just let it know you see that. Yeah. And that is very normal. It's very normal for parts to feel stuck in an age. And that that's something that self can help with. It doesn't have to be alone. So I want to say more about that age that it feels stuck in. It's sort of showing me that like the fantasies alone were like how they were a defense against like not really being able to find a place, another place that was safe. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, just let it know that. It makes sense to find some comfort in those fantasies if it can't find a safe place. There's still a manager working hard in there. Yeah. Doing and something. I was thinking that the manager working hard was the one showing you the headache and wanted to run away. And does it feel like now you've switched to another part? It's okay if you have. I'm just trying to get clear on who's who.
the manager still kind of trying to block you from accessing the feelings of this part? Yeah. Yeah. And I'll admit, I'm kind of lost. I'm not real clear on who's who. So no. it would be helpful for me if you were kind of to summarize what who is the manager and how it's acting and what it's what you're noticing about it mm -hmm. but you also don't have to do that for me so if you're If you're with it and you're getting its messages, then I would say stay with it. Mm -hmm. But if you're having trouble or if you want any prompts, mm -hmm. just let me know. The manager wants to like hold it all together and explain everything and mm -hmm. yeah makes sense to me My question for that manager would be, what's that like for it? Or what's it afraid would happen if it didn't? I think it's a friend. It'll just that the the young one that will keep going back into that Uh, kind of that uh, play that riles it up. Yeah. Yeah. So by holding it together, explaining, it yeah. kind of helps contain and prevent, tries to prevent 
the exile from going back into that play. Yeah, it's yeah. Okay. Does that make sense to you? And do you see how that might be preferred, at least in in this part's eyes? Yeah, because like the play and the violence was so connected. And the young one just kept going back for more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Because I didn't know what else to do. Yeah. So the manager stepped up. Yeah. Sounds really valuable. I'm trying to understand, like, Mm -hmm. there's this. How is the manager, like, relating to the the fantasy land? Mm -hmm. Like, I think the manager, like, tried to make the fantasy land like it's real life, where it would find its place. Hmm. Does that come back to some of the achieving stature and power and fame? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, managers are good at that. Yeah. Keep their eye on the prize and work hard. How do you feel towards the manager? It achieved a lot. Mm -hmm. It did get it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel towards it? How do I feel towards it? Um, Mm -hmm. Why is this question always so accessible for me to answer? I have some, I have some guesses. Yeah. Oh, probably my first would be that you're just, that you're blended, that you're blended with some other part or you're blended with the manager itself Mm -hmm. and the manager doesn't really see itself so well. Right. You know, like just a moment ago when I asked how you felt towards it and you said, well, yeah, it it did, it did that, you know, it did good or, or I forget the wording, but. I can imagine the manager saying, I did good. I, I did my job. Right. And the whole and the whole purpose of the question, how do you feel towards, is for me to check for self-energy. Right. Or compared to blend, blendedness. Right. Mm-hmm. And then again, like I told you last time, it's totally fine. You You show up how you show up. Right. And 
that's that's so, the process i i mean i myself felt how hard the manager works yes And maybe we're, you know, I don't know what's, what else going on inside of you. And maybe this is nitpicking, but I wouldn't call that a feeling, you know? Well, I feel, yeah, I feel the like. Or, or not a feeling towards like, I can okay. feel, I can feel the manager's intensity. I can yeah. see, I can see how hard it worked. But feel, but how do I feel towards that manager? Well, I hate the manager, or I love the manager, or I'm scared of the manager. You know, those would be kind of the feelings towards. And it's fine if you're not, if none of those are coming up, that's totally fine. It's one of the reasons I, I kind of switched after I asked that question a handful of times, right. I said, well, the, the manager can talk to me. You know, right. If you're having trouble accessing that, that kind of unblended state, then. So I feel. Mm -hmm. That the manager is still. somehow linked with this just like violent cycle. It may be. I wouldn't call that a feeling. Okay. It's an observation of, you know, I, I see that the manager is linked to, or, yeah. I, or I, I think that maybe the manager is linked to, but it's not, it's not how my, my emotional experience right. towards that manager is. And again, if you're not, if you're not noticing any feeling towards, that's totally fine. Uh huh. But yeah, if you're saying, I feel that anything right. that comes after that is, is generally, you know, I feel the headache. Uh huh. Yeah, you see that it's working hard. Yeah. And when you see it, and when you see it working hard, does it make you feel a certain way towards it? Yeah. Can you repeat that? You said you see it working hard, and then you said, does it make you feel? Any way towards it? Okay, so I can't tell if this is like self or if this is something that's trying to fix mm -hmm. the manager. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel that the manager is running away from the part who's running away. You may be right. And... What I feel towards that is like I want to like re soothe it, relax it, mm -hmm. hug it, uh, mm -hmm. hold it close. Mm -hmm. Am I actually doing that inside? 
Well, that's a different question. Well, I'm just starting with the feeling, you know? Mm-hmm. Do I do I want to help this part out? Am I curious about this part? Am I feeling compassionate towards it? And again, if the answer is not really, that's totally fine. That's you just know, me check, I checking feel on like this. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm seeing it. Mm-hmm. The place I feel just the running, like. Okay, I mean, help me out here. Like, I feel the running and I feel that I want to like, hug it. Yeah. And and just give it like a, you can just, you can just relax here in my lap kind of. But is that, is that fixing it? Well, I don't know, just from that, just from saying that and normally part that's trying to fix it yeah so that's something we would find out so if you say i feel like i want to hug it and make a space for it to relax then in my mind i'm thinking okay this could be self or this could be a self-like part that yeah you know like you said kind of wants to fix it and so i would just keep asking questions about that and kind of feeling it and I'm, I'm always looking out for, am I hearing responses that are curious and compassionate, creative, connected, et cetera. Okay. And sometimes yeah. it's hard to tell, sometimes it's hard to tell, but you know, you don't have to do that alone. Like that's something that I want to offer is that I can help with the parts detecting Mm-hmm. You can just you can just say what you're feeling and noticing, kind of like our last call. And I at the end I said, okay, well, I'm sensing that this might be a hold it together part, and maybe yeah. I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. We can listen back. Um, but a lot of times I know that I think we all kind of try really hard to get into self energy and. And we're doing a lot of kind of checking ourselves. Is this self? Is this self? Am I in it? And sometimes th- that that striving and that uh, double checking and triple checking of ourselves can itself kind of be overwhelming and can and can create so much static um, or or feedback. Yeah. You know, like when a microphone feeds back, it's like a uh, that it kind of can take us out of it or make it really hard. So that's what's great about doing it with a buddy, doing IFS is, yeah. you know, you can just share what's coming up and I can help discern who's who. Okay, so I'm wanting to sort of be with this part who's running away. The manager who's running away or the one who's running um, o- the uh, other one? The um, the manager the who's running one? away from this part who's running away. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, and I think that's great. I think your intuition to be with that part is great and you can let that part know. Um, and there's no there's no right or wrong about that. But I also, uh, yeah, I I'm wondering if the, oh, the, the 
I'm sorry. Can you hear me? I, I can now, but I lost you. You said your intuition to be with that part is good. And then I lost you. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm wondering if wanting to be, to help that exile um, is, is keeping you from, from meeting with the protectors first. And we talked about this a little last time about like, well, where do I center? You know, should I center on the exile? And I was saying, and I was saying generally protectors first. Um, Okay. Again, you know, it's not a hard and fast rule, but I think that happens. It happens to a lot of people where we see the pain of an exile and and we want to give it a hug. And there's protectors in the way. There's managers saying, hold on, this is, I've been, I've been running this ship for a while. Uh And various protectors kind of fighting over an exile. And you may, that exile may absolutely need a hug. um, But the managers, they're kind of, or the protectors, they're all kind of, they already have their tools. They're already kind of armed. And Uh we've we've got to kind of de-escalate from that outer layer Um, first, generally. Yeah. Okay. So that's kind of my guess about what's going on here is that you see an exile in pain and you're drawn towards it. Yeah. Naturally, wonderful, nothing wrong with that. It it does need it does need self. But uh in general I would not recommend kind of trying to just go around protectors. And that's why I kept trying to pull you back to, well, is this the man, you know, which one's the manager and what can we learn about the manager, the manager, the manager? Um, yeah. Because I, I imagine they're going to continue kind of impeding your process. Like you said early on, you know, it doesn't, it wants to run away from, and it, it, it wants to keep those feelings away. So if you're saying, okay, well, I'm going to open the lid and I'm going to go learn about right. all those feelings, you're going to have managers coming at you from from the sides trying to knock you off in general. Uh-huh. I could be totally wrong. It's your system, but that's kind of my yeah. general mode of operating. Get to know those managers, those protectors. Okay, I'm back with a manager. <laughs> Okay. How do you feel towards it? <laughs> I feel that it's uh, I appreciate it's like independence, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's resourcefulness. Yes, yes. See some positive qualities in it. Do you appreciate its intention for wanting to protect the system in that way? Yeah. Great. We show it all that appreciation and see how it responds. Yeah. I, You still with me? Because the last yeah. thing you said was a muffled. Okay. Were you able to show it appreciation? I have a part that like is stuck on that. That it's like. It, 
it's blocking the appreciation because mm-hmm. this part like had some unrealistic views of its capability. Okay. Okay. Good noticing. So when a part comes up to block, whatever blocks the way is the way. Yeah, this part, like, doesn't want you to show appreciation. Yeah, it just thinks that that, that like, a man. I believe you, I, I can't hear you if you're still talking. It thinks the manager My okay. old, my current form of the manager, like mm-hmm. overtaking self right now. Mm-hmm. It's like I've been freaking managing myself like a lot. And yes. I have very current self-like versions of this manager. Mm-hmm. And this other part is kind of tired of that. And doesn't want you to show appreciation for them? No, this other, like, older form, older, more powerful form of the manager Mm -hmm. doesn't appreciate the younger form of the manager. Okay. That makes sense. Thinks that that younger manager was, like, on crack and actually, like, really misguided. Yes. Yes. Okay. That part's welcome too. Yeah. Is it aware of you? Of you noticing it? As a, as a current day manager. Hmm. Okay. Wait, no, I didn't. I said that's a good question. Hmm. Uh, well, I think it's pretty self like, but I think there's a little bit of room there where this big self like manager can see that. can see that if you said anything after that, I didn't hear it. You think the big self like manager can see that? Oh, did I cut off? Yes. Yeah. You think the big self like manager can see that? What? There's just a little bit of awareness between this big self-like manager who doesn't appreciate the younger version of the manager and me. Yes, that's what we're going for. Just making some distinctions. Yeah. Has this conversation been helpful for you? Yeah, I think um, connecting like all the sort of self-help that I try to do Mm -hmm. to 
this younger version of the manager mm -hmm. and the exile who the younger version of the manager is running away from, I think is really helpful for me sort of just putting some self in between me and the manager. Okay. Great. Me, yeah. Between me and management. Mm-hmm. The management team. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just let them, just thank them for helping you see that. Let them know they don't have to be alone. We can keep getting to know them. Okay. Okay. And is and, there a way to connect with like appreciation of the manager of the who doesn't appreciate the manager who is running away from the exile? <laughs> certainly. Self can appreciate every part. Uh-huh. Okay. So it's, it's, it's always the same process. It starts with curiosity, understanding them. Why are they doing that? What are they protecting you from? And just listening, noticing. Cool. Yes, we can do it. Um, also, I want to apologize to you for, uh, I don't know, if I was not helpful in this conversation, there were a lot of times where I felt like I was not being helpful. So I'll send okay. you this call. And if you do listen back and you want to like, let me know now or later or never, um, anything that I could do differently to help. If you hear anything that like was really not helpful or something that you'd like to hear more of, or that you're wishing I had helped you with, just let me know. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll let you know. But I mean, my, my belief response is that like things get really fractal and confusing in there. And mm -hmm. I think that this manager part, like it has a lot of control over self. And so, yeah. Yeah. It, so that's the one, that's what we should start with. Yeah. And, and not try to get, get lower. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I think we should start with whoever's, you know, again, kind of blocking the way or yeah. has the most control and put those, put those exile parts on your calendar for we get to them when we get to them. Uh -huh. I know that's hard. I mean, it's hard yeah. because yeah. we see the pain and we want to help. And well, yeah, I, mm -hmm. and, and there's sort of a fixed, like, when I said at the beginning of the call, like I've been managed a lot when the attention, the managerial attention that I got was to fix my problems. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. it's like my manager just wants to like, and, or, and the fixer, I don't know if they're the same or different parts, mm -hmm. but they just, they want to go straight towards like, let's fix it. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, all that sort of yep. uh, uh, loosening and patience and learning yeah. and all that. Yeah. And it totally makes sense. And, you know, I wouldn't recommend this way if I didn't think it was the most efficient. So. Yeah. No, it's mm. awesome. Super fruitful. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I think this is great. Thank you so much. Cool. Okay. 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 All if right. You have, if you have any other concerns, questions, or feedback for me in us yeah. working together, just let me know. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, James. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Ivan, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, 
that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube. And they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there and give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.